I will be analyzing the Victorian literary time period. The Victorian era was in Great Britain during the reign of Queen Elizabeth from 1837 to 1901. It was the age of humor, nostalgia, and happiness. The serialized novel was extremely popular, but satire was not. There were many changes during this time period, which unfortunately caused many issues. During the Industrial Revolution, products were manufactured so cheaply that wages plummeted. Child labor was usually used to bring in more money to families. Without any labor regulations, workers had poor working conditions, which manifested into poor health. In addition to health issues, the Great Stink of 1858 caused disease to run rampant throughout the country. Women's rights were also an issue in the Victorian era. Women began questioning their role in society and pushed for more rights. Lastly, the Industrial Revolution caused a boom in population size, a demographic shift, and a growing middle class. Victorians highly valued youth and appearance, as exemplified by the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Victorians also began to view society as animalistic because of Char Charles Darwin's theories. Additionally, some people were scared that technology advancement would threaten traditional morals and values. Overall, Victorians were eager for the future, but still sentimental towards the past. Victorians stressed the importance of loyalty, thoughtfulness, honesty, and improvement. These ideas were also characterized in the importance of being honest in Alice in Wonderland. They also stressed the philosophy of utilitarianism in order to make everyone in society happy. Victorians continued to follow the traditional nobility ladder, but with a growing middle class, wealth began to determine status as well. With the Industrial Revolution thriving, the middle class wanted more control. The working class started a movement called Chartism for more rights. Eventually, the Reform Acts answered the working class's demands. With the Great Stink of 1858 causing such discomfort and disease, sanitation was on the forefront of political issues. Parliament resolved the issues with various health reform acts. Additionally, medical advancements were created to more effectively treat the ill. Along with the working class, women pushed for more rights. Eventually, they acquired property and marital rights, but not yet the right to vote. Although Christianity dominated the Victorian era, Charles Darwin's theory of evolution and natural selection caused people to start separating from the church. Authors like George Gissing often characterized the idea of natural sele selection in works. This was the beginning of science versus creationism. The Industrial Revolution caused the English economy to boom and create a larger presence as a world power. It modernized business and industry, but did cause more en environmental stress. However, Northern Britain industrialized faster than Southern Britain, which did create more conflicts. Victorians often discouraged against the regulation of businesses, which is now known as laissez-faire economics. I chose two pieces of literature that perfectly reflect the Victorian era. The first is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Dickens describes the life of a common boy named Pip. He develops a crush on his wealthy, slimy neighbor, Estella. Pip loves Estella, but he is not of the same status of her, so he cannot marry her. Although Pip eventually comes into money and is now of status, he finds that the socioeconomic ladder works in tricky ways. Dickens reflects just how much Victorians valued the socioeconomic ladder. During the Victorian era, it was not only nobility that decided your position, but it was your character and your wealth. Dickens also criticizes the Victorians for their vanity in assuming that low-class are inadequate human beings. He excellently portrays that status is relative. The second piece of literature is The Cry of the Children by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Her poem describes the terrible conditions children faced in factories and mines during the Industrial Revolution in England. Her rich imagery allows her readers to understand the truth of child labor. Similar to many authors of their time, Barrett Browning writes about the social issues in her society and pushes for change from the public and the government. Although the Industrial Revolution brought advancements, it also brought issues for the poor Victorian people. Her work exemplifies the labor issues caused by industrial industrialization in Britain.